But first tonight, we're learning new details about a man who was found shot to death in his driveway near Maynard. This comes as the Travis County Sheriff's Office is warning neighbors to be careful, lock their doors, and not answer knocks from strangers. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell is live at the Presidential Meadows neighborhood just off of 290 with what we know tonight. Jacqueline? Well, Sydney Robert Pedro Gomez was found dead in a car in his driveway right behind me here. I spoke to his wife a little earlier, and of course, she's going through a lot right now. She did not want to go on camera, but she did give me this photo of him to share of her husband. She says Gomez was a wonderful man. He's a father of three young boys, and one of them is just a year old. And she also told me he grew up here in Maynard and even ran on the track team at Maynard High School. Neighbors on the street also spoke with me off camera tonight, and they told me they heard several gun shots go off a little after 8:30 last night. Several people called 911 and say they ran outside to see what happened right when they heard the shots fired. They told me they didn't see anyone running off or any cars leaving after those shots went off. But detectives are saying this definitely was not a suicide. They've given us a few de details so far. So here's what we know. We know that Gomez was found with multiple gunshot wounds and detectives don't know who shot him or whether that person could be a threat to others. And they say they do have some leads and they've been collecting evidence and conducting some interviews. Right now, they're trying to figure out a motive for why someone would have killed him. And now, because deputies don't know who the suspect is, they're warning neighbors to be very cautious and to watch out for anything that might seem suspicious in this area. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we learn anything else about a suspect. Reporting live in Maynard, Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. Jacqueline, thank you. And we're learning more about the resources available to investigate this type of a case. The Travis County Sheriff's Office tells us that they assign two detectives to every homicide investigation. They also bring in extra detectives. If the scope of the case is large and requires more manpower, there are 32 detectives in TCSO's Criminal Investigations Division. They investigated 12 homicides last year.